to do. That's great advice. advice. Yeah, no, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, so what do you kind of think of, uh, of, of Ayaka and you, I don't know, just, just taking on this role, what, what was it like? Do you think it was kind of different just because you've done so many of these, like you, so many main characters with all sorts of personalities, what do you think Ayaka was similar to any particular role that you played or, um, I don't know, anything that you kind of did to, to get into playing her? Well, she's uh, very princessy. I don't play a lot of characters like that just because I feel like personally my voice is a little bit more tomboyish and I don't have the best diction. <laughs> so it's hard to play like really like regal characters um, because of that. Because I, I, I sometimes slur when I speak to her. I talk really fast naturally. <laughs> so it, it's definitely a challenge to play characters like her. But I, I think I've played a few that are, are pretty similar. I think Raftalia is kind of in a similar zone. Um, uh, who else? I played a few like other princesses. Like I played this character named Erica in uh, Radiant Historia. I think the game was called. Okay. Um, okay. It's like a remake of that game. And then like there's um I was uh I'm blanking on everything right now. Liana in Fire Emblem Warriors <laughs> is kind of princess but she's a little bit more of a like rambunctious princess but it's still kind of like that same like i have to speak kind of proper and like be a little bit more like i could be royalty but i also like like to have fun you know um and i think i can be like that sometimes but she's very like loyal to like her cause and all that stuff so 